So here's the deal. I like Rancho, I think it's a good map, but I'm convinced Rancho doesn't like me. Almost every time we hunt here anymore, we end up leaving with nothing. So today, I'm going to try to earn the respect of Rancho and try to get success on this map once again by using the worst loadout I could come up with. So that then begs the question, what constitutes a loadout that's so terrible that it could completely change a map's opinion of us? And I think the first weapon will pretty well demonstrate that. This is the 410 45 revolver, and for this hunt, we'll only be using the 410 birdshot. And for an antelope jackrabbit that's just kind of jogging along, not a big deal. We're able to take that down without a problem. But on Rancho, probably my favorite species to hunt would be pheasants. This thing is terrible for pheasants, but not only that, we've got the regular 45 revolver. That's going to be kind of our main weapon, and trying to take bobcats and coyotes with this should be a challenge. And then finally, we needed a class 6 weapon, and the best thing I could come up with, or worst, would be the 357. And you'll notice no scopes on any of these. So I think this is going to be fun. It's going to present a lot of challenges, and I'm looking forward to trying to overcome them, and hopefully, we can find ourselves with success at the end. So one of the challenges we'll be facing today is just kind of getting in close to whatever we elect to try to take out. Unless it's maybe coyotes and bobcats that run pretty slowly, we just can't spook stuff. If we spook anything, we're not going to get a decent shot with these weapons. So there's a level 4 pronghorn here, and we get to crawl all the way into maybe 50 meters just to reasonably get a chance to take it out. So for pronghorn, we'll be using the 45 revolver, and at about 50 meters, that should be doable. It's an underpowered caliber for them, but it is going to bring him down. We also heard a rooster pheasant calling out there, so in theory, that pheasant should just run and kind of like hide somewhere. So maybe we can find it and go and get a shot at it. That's a potential diamond whitetail? 240 to 281. All right, forget the pheasant. And like I just said, like spooking things is a problem. We need to figure out where they flee to and either follow them to wherever they go nervous at or maybe they'll come back. So real quick, our pronghorn, 84.64 scoring gold, got a double long shot there, nearly a hard shot, but that was a little bit simpler when he was already just feeding in the open. This level two whitetail, I don't think is gonna be as simple as that. That's probably the last doe in the herd, and of course the wind is awful. Let's climb up here. Maybe they try to come back, but at least we can kinda see where they go. Okay, so he's nervous out there and kind of trotting back. I don't know if there's a bobcat out there or why they're kind of doing this. Some of them are still fleeing. But maybe, maybe they're gonna try to come back up this way? Well, that's unfortunate. I think that's our herd of deer and they maybe chose the worst spot. My guess is they're nervous feeding down there and I just don't know what the wind direction and the complete lack of visibility, if we can actually get in any kind of handgun range, I mean, we'll try. Ooh, okay, I think by alerting them, they're actually leaving that zone. Boy, I wish we had cover. I think we're better off not moving. Like, that one's alerted that range. Where is our bigger buck? He's gotta be, he's gotta be with this herd. There he is. Okay, nervous at 50. Can we actually see well enough to get a shot? We're gonna have to kind of slow him down when he crosses through here. It's gonna be, oh boy, he's way out there. I'm gonna try to get him to stop. I'm unsure about that first shot and the second shot maybe was too high. He took a step right when we shot. I hope it's vitals. It is vitals. And now it's a matter of, is he big enough to reach diamond? He's a good looking deer. It's actually kind of cool. Let me, uh, I want to get a screenshot. I'll show you what I mean. The only annoying thing is the confirmed trophy text, but I think Photoshop maybe can get that. But I want to have like the reloading animation with the buck laying there. I think that's pretty cool. So while we complete reloading, that was a diamond white tail. Oh boy. So we clutched up anyway with lower neck shot, but we hit him. Liver and stomach, just about 
completely screwed that up, 255.61 score. And then lower neck on the follow-up, I knew it was high, I thought maybe spinal cord, but we were a little further forward. And I guess had this shot been a touch further back, that would have been crazy clutch. But a diamond whitetail with a 45 revolver on Rancho already. So you've probably noticed, this is single player, and I wanted to do this video in multiplayer, mostly because I think it makes for, you know, a better hunt overall, when everything is completely unknown. And to be fair, this iteration of our Rancho single player is, we've hunted this map like twice, since Rev and Tuli came out and they did the population resets and redistributions, but I still feel like going to multiplayer with that complete factor of unknown is kind of better for the hunt. So there's no servers open, at least last time I checked. I've been jumping back out to the main menu and looking for a server here and there, and I'm hoping to still get into multiplayer. But we got a diamond whitetail with that 45. We've not even used everything in the loadout yet, and already we've got success. All right, so we've made it into multiplayer, and hopefully we've earned a little of Rancho's respect by taking a diamond on the map with the 45 revolver, but if we can do so in single player and multiplayer, maybe that'll do so once and for all. And straight away, we're back to track and we have a max weight estimate pheasant. Not sure if that's gonna be it. I had a mating call down here, but it's literally in the worst spot. They're just down over this hill where we can't actually see anything. I don't see any highlighted tracks. But I guess maybe we can try to practice with that one and then go back and try to get on the trail of the max weight one again. Kind of looks like he's all by himself. Which is kind of interesting, but he's going to kind of hunker down right in there. And we'll see if we can actually flush him effectively. And then more important than that, making the shot with the 410 pistol. That was a weird maneuver. Oh, we hit him, but he was going to land. I guess better to make that mistake with level 2 than whatever the other one might be. Still going, by the way. Maybe we didn't hit him last time. No, we did. I think, yeah, there's blood right here. And despite two hits, and the second one seemed to be hit him fairly square, he still went pretty darn far. I have no idea what that was, but there was a... Whoa, okay. There was a uh, male jackrabbit warning call. Let's just kill them all and <laughs> see what we get. Alright, our pheasant, yeah, grounded on the first shot, literally two pellets. Second shot, little better hit. 2.03 kilo is decent, I think it should have just barely made gold. And then we have three antelope jackrabbit down in this area. Normally I don't like to cause this much pressure, so hopefully no zones deleted down here. I don't even know how that just happened, but silver there, silver female there, and then I don't even know, was this the first one we shot? Another silver female, so we got the male, that was the first one. Nothing super special out of that, but let's see if we can go and get back on the tracks here, which I think, if I'm reading that right, we may have actually been on a newer track before. I think that's the case, we were kind of going backwards. I have to think that's going to be him, but again, weird spot. And not many of his tracks are actually showing up, so I don't see them, but it sure sounded like they were right here. They should kind of go and hunker down until we get close, so I guess we'll just move in this direction. Make sure we're loaded, which we are. And I'd love to see one of his tracks light up. We're still on them, so if any of these were his, they'd be blue. Not only that, I don't see the flock. Are they that far away still? Still. Still no tracks, and that's definitely not it. Got the wrong handgun out as well. That was a much more doable shot. Still got him. And I know there were two roosters in that flock, and one of them was that weight estimate. So it still might be that flock. Maybe they're kind of separated. That's the only rooster that's in with these hens, though. And you can see, I mean, two hits again. We're going to be tracking the thing for another 500 meters. I don't know, maybe that's it. Fortunately, he must have stopped here and then just kind of landed and died right where we last saw him. 15.3 score. And here we go again. Oh, that one already flushed. Oh, I did some weird landing. That's not it either. 
I don't understand. I may have seen another rooster take off there. I just want to get one more track to actually know where he is recently, because everything is so old. I think we did see another rooster, and yet again, two shots. We'll be tracking him a while. This has turned into not at all what I thought was going to happen. So here's this one. I have not located the last one that called yet. That's a gold at 16.79 at least. Hit him twice, a total of three pellets. And he was only, what, 40 meters away on the first shot? That's not terrible considering how far away he was when he actually took off. So the other one should have been down in this area. And even if we can't immediately locate it, I want to get back on the tracks that we had last and try to figure it out that way because I'm just, I'm lost at this point. There's a rooster there, actually kind of coming our way. That's, oh my god, it's a three. Okay. Oh, that was early. I want to, I'm not going to shoot anymore. I, I want to get the shot up before he tries to land because we had that earlier. Is that even the same bird? It probably is. Man, that was, that was, that was not clutch making those shots. The old tracks don't show, so I don't know if that was it or not. I just hear wings everywhere. I kind of think they might go back. So now we get to untangle this web again. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better situation. He flushed right to us. And just that fear of him landing. Rushed the shot too much. That, that just was not good. But what I can tell you is, that's the same bird. Because we haven't gotten to disturb veg track. I got one earlier. And we see it's the white-brown variation. So that's the one that we've been tracking. Just where did he go now? If that actually just worked, I'm going to be amazed, because I cannot figure this out. That's a level two. So is that not the same bird, or was he in there with him? Because honestly, it was so chaotic, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing a bunch of tracks that would indicate, you know, there's a bunch of birds here. Just going to try to get that one down. At the very least, we can maybe use that same strategy again. So just taking that one out of the equation removes the ability for him to warning call. They flew up over that hill and like you can kind of see the tracks here. These are the new ones. This, I can't, I kind of think those are really old tracks that have nothing to do with it. But at this stage, I can't tell. So one thing you can do is kind of elicit a response from pheasants by alerting them. So we're probably going to be, as we continue to try to solve this puzzle, Firing some shots off and seeing if we get a warning call that way. As for this one, little gray 15.13 silver. Just a, a whole lot smaller than the one we're trying to find right now. Man, what an absolute mess. I tracked him around several circles in this area. I cannot figure it out. This is reaching the point of being one of the worst panic shots of all time. The only thing, like you can see these different disjointed tracks. Everything's very old by now. This here looks like warping tracks, and it is going north. I know you can't see any arrows now, but the tracks were heading north. My one thought, this is where we initially got those tracks. What if he warped back to where he initially kind of came from? Now, we are host of this server, and I'm kind of thinking we're going to reset the time if we can't find him up here. But resetting the time can be risky. We don't actually have a zone, so I'd really prefer to just figure out where he is. This is the last thing I can think of though. I, I don't even know how long we've been tracking him. That may be him. That is actually him. I haven't seen this guy in forever. And this time, we're making the shot. I don't care what happens. This pheasant is falling out of the air when we are done with this. I think he might be about to flush it there. Weird spot. Oh, we clipped him. Okay, I'm not gonna shoot anymore. We already did this once. That will bring him down. Oh boy, <laughs> that was terrible. I don't think the tracking distance will show up because we have reset the time. You can see he's hit. He's, he's eventually going to go down. We don't need to mess with anything. I mean, we could. This seems like a terrible idea. That'll drop him. And I think it is finally over. My goodness. At least it is a diamond. 20.86. I was terrified he was going to troll us after... All of that? Yeah, this tracking distance of 200 meters, that's obviously resetting the time, reset that. Actually got a double lung shot on the follow-up. So from an all-time whiff, 
with him flying right at us, to ironically enough hitting him twice as he flew right at us. <laughs> Just the way that all worked out was pretty wild. He's barely diamond too. 20.86. Maybe he's bigger than I thought. 2.84 kilo is not a great weight for them. But I don't even know how long that took. At least an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'd love to know the actual tracking distance. And of course now all those tracks going around and around this area are gone. But... <laughs> We, uh, we've now killed a diamond in single player and multiplayer with this horrendous loadout. And I don't know how much the loadout affected the shooting, it was panic. Simple as that, that just was not great the first time. But we persevered, we got him. Now we're running out of time, to be frank. But, uh, we're gonna go kill something with this 357, because we still have yet to do that. No way, what the heck? This is just getting absurd. <laughs> We've got a level three Whitetail down there. I didn't even realize Whitetail drank here. And actually it was this blur of a Bobcat. I saw it feeding down there. They got me looking in that direction. That's kind of like the mid-sized rack. Fast traveling there will spook it. It's crazy there's hunting pressure there. So somebody was down there, but maybe not during Whitetail drink time. So I guess we'll just try to scoot down into range. And back to the 45 we'll go. I said the 357 is mule deer only, and we are going to stick to that. A little bit less power, I would say, with this ammo. But we know we can get it done on a whitetail. We've done it once today. I have maybe never taken my time more with a stock. Now, my concern is, we just spooked that bobcat. Did it go right or left? But I've just been proning from, like, 200 meters. Because we've had too many things go horribly wrong today. We try to track and get it in position for stuff, then we're just going to take our time. That's a nice muley. If only we didn't have a level 3 white toe we were trying to get, we could use the 357, but maybe we can come back for him. So I'm pretty sure this is the last cover we can get. He is somewhere right down here. Standing broadside at 68 meters. If we can just maybe cut that to 50, I think we'll go ahead and go for it. This is a shot that maybe on any other day I would actually attempt. But like I just said, so much has gone wrong today. We've already had a panic shot that didn't work out. Track stuff for forever. We don't need to hit this guy poorly and be tracking yet again. So we are now looking at 60. I'm going to say 55 even will be good. Let's go ahead and get zeroed for 50 meters. And I say we pop up and try to make this shot. Probably the longer we sit here, the more he's going to notice us. But that should be a vital hit. I believe he's going down. And we'll see. It is possible, despite the fact that that's not the smallest rack for Whitetail, that can still troll. So, not a guarantee. Look at that gun. The sun gleaming off that. It looks really, really nice. I forget what metal I used, or maybe I didn't even customize the actual metal of it. Looks pretty good. So, our third potential diamond of the hunt. And our third diamond, 265 score, double lunged him with the 45. For once, the kind of challenge of this hunt wasn't too big a deal. All we had to do was scoot in a little bit closer. And this time, no tracking, no hurrying up and alerting things, no panic shots. We've killed three diamonds on Rancho Del Arroyo. Pretty darn cool. So I still want to get something with the 357. We made it a part of the loadout. We'll see if, uh, if we can find a muley. Now this one is fleeing, though he may flee at us. I kind of think he's a little confused, so let's see. I don't know that he'll go up that hill. That's in range in theory. See if he stops again like that. Naturally, he's going to scoot up beyond what we can see. It's kind of crazy that's the same buck. I think he's going to do it again, though. I think we're going to get an opportunity at this even if it's a little further than we'd ideally like. Because he's going back into that spot where he stopped. Being a little less cooperative? Well, let's see. Definitely got a hit. Not going down yet, but they would be pretty tough. That got him. That's going to be our last kill for sure, because I'm telling you, that pheasant, like, straight up gave me a headache trying to track that thing. And now we've killed... An additional diamond whitetail. 
and a kind of decent mule deer buck. I don't think that rack's super common with them. Maybe it is, and it's just a little bit kind of unique with true racks. I'm not sure. But we got to use all three weapons in the loadout, killed diamonds with two of them, and after finally tracking down our pheasant. Literally, was it were they back-to-back -back kills? They may have been. Back-to-back, -back, diamond pheasant, diamond whitetail, our other diamond whitetail down here. I, I sure hope that the amount of success we managed to have today with this horrible loadout is what we needed to get our Rancho Luck back on track, because I missed hunting this map consistently, and it was really the diamond pheasant. Like I said, that's what I come here for. Getting that today was pretty darn cool. So naturally, landed in a pretty terrible spot to see. Okay, that actually is a pretty normal rack. It's just that it's kind of leaning inwards a little bit that makes it look unique. But he's a 275 score. Left lung shot, not too bad. 83 meters with the 357. I think we will take that. So we're going to go back to the Trophy Lodge and see what we can do with our at least two new additions. Probably the smaller Diamond Whitetail won't go in the main lodge. So first of all, our new Diamond Pheasant is going to go next to this one, which by the way has almost the exact same score, shot all the way back in August of 2021. So we need to remember that so we can throw the multi-mount together. Going to be this one 20.89, and the nice thing is they are different variations. White, brown, and I don't even know what it was, just regular brown? 20.89 and 20.86. So let's now put our new mount together. Different, but barely. It kind of flies up towards that bighorn more than I want. Let's actually do something like that. We may have to turn it so that the wings aren't going through the wall. That's kind of cool. A couple of diamond pheasants fighting it out, just adding to that part of the lodge a little bit. And then as for our whitetail, there's a, I think, 259 score over here in this room with the same rack. And the whole reason I ever displayed it, I took down a bigger diamond whitetail because we didn't have the mid-size rack displayed. That's going to be it there. So why don't we take him down? Replace him with a considerably better one at 265. Still get to display the variation of the different whitetail racks in the lodge, but a bigger one adding that. So, I, I like I said, I certainly feel like we earned our uh, our respect there from Rancho, running around chasing that pheasant for forever. Socks we had to reset the time, but I just don't know where he got to. And then we stumble into a diamond whitetail after that, and we still got one. As we were just being patient, waiting for a multiplayer to open up from our single player map. Pretty wild hunt on Rancho with handguns. Maybe we'll bring that loadout to another map one of these days. But for now, that is going to do it for this one. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.